My name is Nalini Rajamanan and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My presentation was on bicuspid aortic valves and the cellular mechanisms of how uh, aortic stenosis develops in bicuspid versus tricuspid valves. And I've been working in this area since I was a medical student and um, recently chaired the um, working group for NHLBI in, and brought together uh, uh, scientists and leaders from all over North America and really this whole field is evolving and what I was able to present today was our recent publication on how bicuspid aortic valves uh, uh, express bone markers and the cellular mechanisms that we use to test this hypothesis. So what is known is that um, knockout mice that have the endothelial nitric oxide synthase gene knocked out spontaneously develop bicuspid aortic valves. And this is in about 25% of the, of the mouse population. So we um, studied these mice and, and uh, purchased a large cohort of mice and fed them high cholesterol diets and then high cholesterol plus uh, atorvastatin to see if we could modify the disease. And we found the 25% of mice that were um, developing bicuspid valves and compared them, the bicuspid to the tricuspid uh, mouse cohort. And we found that the bicuspid uh, mice developed severe stenosis at a much rapid rate. They developed calcification and expressed all of the gene markers important in the calcification process, which includes osteopontin and all the other matrix proteins that we have uh, previous, my, my lab and others have published demonstrating that bone formation is occurring. And then um, there was another level to the study where we uh, looked at in vitro mechanisms and studying the endothelial cells and how the top layer of the valve communicates with the uh, fibroblast cells that, are, that reside below the endothelial cells and communicate between each other in terms of developing the calcification. So in the presence of high lipids, and if you think of patients who develop aortic stenosis, all the other cardiovascular risk factors, you can um, develop a, a, a gradient of abnormal oxidative stress. And in the presence of this gradient, the endothelial cells then communicate with the myofibroblast cells to release cytokines, and in, in, our, in this study, uh, WIN3A, which um, binds to the myofibroblast cells and turns on bone. So it's really um, uh, an exciting time to be a valve biologist and um, the work I'm planning in the future to translate into clinical trials in terms of understanding um, the importance of uh, the risk factors, uh, how to um, measure this by echocardiography, and then um, developing a trial that really is based on the hemodynamics of the aortic valve and uh, hopefully to try and solve progression of the disease.